Happy Thursday, everybody. Well, we're back once again at Le Cordon Bleu in Pasadena, California with lead chef instructor Richard Hanna, who is showing us quick and easy Thanksgiving recipes. Hi, Richard. Hi, Carolyn. How are you? I'm great, thanks. So what are you going to show us on this Thursday? Today is a great dish for all year. This is going to be roasted cauliflower and mushrooms. Roasted cauliflower and mushrooms, and we can take it from Thanksgiving and beyond. Delicious. And quick and easy. Quick and easy. Yes. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, here I have oyster mushrooms that I've pulled apart a little bit okay. so that they cook the same amount of time as the cauliflower. Now does it need to be oyster mushrooms? Cremini mushrooms, white mushrooms, brown mushrooms, okay. any mushroom will work for this. And okay. mushrooms really bring the meaty texture to this. This is a great vegetarian dish too. Oh great, okay. Um, so we just took the cauliflower and we broke it into large florets mm -hmm. and just sliced it in about half inch slices okay. that's all we did okay so we did that and then we took and tossed our mushrooms with our cauliflower okay okay and so you're going to add the shallots all right go ahead and add all of them all of it okay mm -hmm. now you, these aren't diced they're just they're sliced they've sliced. been peeled and sliced okay and then add uh, uh, about two tablespoons of garlic. Okay. Perfect. Okay. And then we're going to add a little bit of vinegar. Now vinegar choices for me are, this is golden balsamic, so this is like a white balsamic vinegar. Okay. Uh, I also like rice wine vinegar, mm -hmm. and I like sherry vinegar from Where is Spain. So it just depends on, the, on the, what you're going for. but those It are changes the, the flavor. If you have this, this is a dish you can have all year round, so you can change the flavor of it pretty easily. Yeah. So that's perfect. That's okay. a perfect amount. And all now right. we're going to add our olive oil. Okay. About how much? Um, when I add olive oil, I just go across it twice generally. I go across it, and I might add just a little bit more. Perfect. That's perfect. Okay. And then add some salt, and we'll add salt and pepper. Uh, Lots of salt? Lots of salt. I love salt. I can make a meal out of salt. And this is pink Himalayan That's salt. That's pink Himalayan salt. And so it's, that color, it's that color because of the mineral in yeah. the ground from where it's mined. And that's is it, perfect. Is this available at most Everywhere. Store? Trader Joe's, any it. place. Mm -hmm. okay. That's perfect. Just, okay. That's perfect. Oh, and okay. then we'll add some pepper. Go ahead yeah. and grind some pepper white? into it. White. This is white pepper. White pepper. I'm so excited to try white pepper at home now. It really is. It's a great pepper. Keep going? Keep going. Right. So a lot of times we don't use enough pepper out of pepper mills. That's perfect. Especially because it's, so, it's subtle, you don't have to worry exactly too much. Exactly right. Okay. And then all I'm gonna do with this dish is I'm just gonna toss it in its bowl like this. Mm -hmm. Now if I did that, it would not be a... Yeah, you could use a spoon. No. <laughs> you could use a spoon, but the key here is going to be to incorporating them. Now we've made basically a dressing. We've mm. made a vinaigrette okay. oh. with the vinegar and the oil, and we've okay. flavored it with um, shallots and garlic. Mm. Mm, and it good. just smells really good. We can also interchange this with broccoli. We can add broccoli with the cauliflower. Okay. And it's just going to go right in this roasting dish like this. Mm -hmm. And we're going to throw it in the oven and roast it. Okay. For about how long? Um, I'm going to say it's going to roast until the cauliflower is cooked. And so it's probably about, depending on the temperature, I'm going to roast this at 425 degrees, mm -hmm. probably for 30, 35 minutes. So until you stick a fork in and it's soft? Yes. You can put it all the way through. Yes. And okay. then everyone has a different preference between whether they like their vegetables firm mm -hmm. or sure, soft. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Very cool. Let's put it in the oven. Mm, it smells amazing. It really does. Yeah. Well, Caroline, here is our cauliflower and mushrooms. It's really a wonderful it dish. And it's roasted in the oven as beautiful natural flavors. Mm -hmm. I am going to, and it is the quintessential yeah. quick and easy. Yeah, there's a nice combination of textures it looks like too. It really is. And so we'll just plate it onto our plate. Yeah. And as I said, there's a lot of variations to this, or so mm -hmm. the types of mushrooms you use, yeah. whether you use broccoli and cauliflower or broccoli and cauliflower. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. The color, that caramel color is gorgeous. It's beautiful, isn't it? It looks so gourmet and yet quick and easy. Quick and easy, yeah. and it's delicious. This is a good one. You're amazing. Okay. Yeah.